Hello, everybody. Thank you very much uh, for welcoming me here at the Theosophical Society and just for showing up. I, this is the first time I've had a chair. They asked if I wanted a chair. I, I just felt like I should have like a sift or a brandy or something. <laughs> you know, it's just, but um, I thought this would just be easier um, and it keeps me in one place so that you're not, you know, watching me move around a stage. Um, but yeah, very much welcome. Um, and obviously it is timely, ghosts and spirit entities. Um, this, that, this particular thing, there's a class that uh, I will, am going to be doing that starts this Saturday, which is the Ghost and Entities class. Um, this class did come about during the development because when we started over at, uh, originally at Harper College, which is teaching, I just had this vision of an entire program. There's a serious lack of proper, if you will, education taking it more into the sciences, and in this case, more into culture. And um, I had some very good, long conversations and had the benefit of co-teaching one of the classes uh, with an anthropo a cultural anthropologist. And the more I became involved in it, I realized that I was doing an injustice. And what that was is I would talk about the entities and there was so much that was not being said. Um, one of the things is uh, on here, and I'm just going to associate myself here, so we have different types of entities. That's basically what we're talking about here. But looking at it from a cultural aspect, um, one of the things that really got into as far as the ghosts and entities is it really needed to move beyond of, uh, okay, this is an intelligent entity. This is a residual entity. There, this is a, a poltergeist. This is a demon. And just leaving it at that. Uh, or saying, um, you know, things that I have said in the past. You know, well, if, you know, Uncle Jake was a jokester in this life, he's going to be a jokester in the next. Um, but it really does go so much deeper than that. Um, when you're looking at things, and I do a lot of stuff, a lot of things from a scientific per perspective, uh, teaching the sciences as they're involved. Well, cultural anthropology is a science. And if cultural um, anthropology really is so underestimated in this field. And, and here's some of the reasons why. Because we need to understand and have a perspective of where not only the Western culture, our, our viewpoint on things came from, but how other cultures may view it. Because if in fact, which we do believe, and I, I do know, I shouldn't say, but if, if in fact that Uncle Jake is a jokester in this life, he's going to be a jokester in, that, in the next, what else is Uncle Jake going to be doing or not doing or believing or not believing? Because it, our behavior, our belief system, when that goes from uh, culture in itself is what people know and do. So this encompasses religion. This encompasses even scientific. It's our belief system. And this will carry with the person when they pass over. That's one point. But then the other one gets into, start uh, delving more into all the subcategories. So I, I'll continue here. 